I had a dream, said Steve Jobs at his garage many, many years ago, and God rest his soul, he did have a dream of having many TVs in your pocket. But unfortunately, Mr. Steve Jobs died at iPhone 4S, but his cousin swept right in and he said he also has a dream, a dream of milking the shit out of iPhone after iPhone. In the past couple years, iPhone has been pumping iPhones left and right. There are more siblings for iphone than my friend muhammad at this point a couple months ago we covered iphone 15 when it came out and just literally three hours ago iphone 16 came out and today we're going to talk about is the new iphone 16 worth it or not we're also going to talk about the app new apple watch series 10 and the new airpods number four i believe and as an apple expert myself with you know having even though this is like an old iphone old doesn't matter i'm gonna give my professional opinion and tell you if it's worth it or not starting it off there are new colors added to the iphone and a new category before it was iphone you know 15 15 pro and 15 pro max but in the 16 series it is 16 plus so if you can't afford to flex the new iphone 16 pro you can go with the 16 plus it is only 100 dollars more it is bigger than the pro version but some of the features are worse than the pro version things like the refresh rate a chip is not really that important uh 12 mp ultra wide the zoom is less but the battery life is more now the first thing we're going to talk about is the performance level of the new iphone 16 so it went from an 816 chip from iphone 15 to an a18 which is 30 percent faster than the iphone 15 that was a cpu level performance but the gpu level in the new a18 is 40 percent faster than the iphone 15 it also has 16 core neural engine if your phone gets barbecued from call of duty mobile or PUBG. This is going to help it just get a little bit less barbecue. I believe it is still going to get barbecue even they say that it, it isn't. Now, 40% actually is not a bad progress that they made. I believe they're like this is the A18. I believe they have the A30 as well. But they're doing it step by step every three, four months to release a new iPhone. You know why? Because business. But let's talk about the main features that was added in the new iPhone 16. First one, starting off with the Apple intelligence, which I think... It's pretty cool. Apple Intelligence is the personal intelligence system at the heart of the iPhone 16 lineup. With the ability to understand and create language, as well as images, and take action on your behalf to simplify daily tasks. And a great way to accelerate everyday tasks is with Siri. Apple Intelligence marks the start of a new era for Siri and makes it more natural, more contextually relevant, and more personal to you. With richer language understanding, Siri will follow along if you stumble over your words. Hey Siri, who is the architect behind the Museum of... Wait, no, not the museum. The Palace of Fine Arts. Bernard Maybeck designed the Palace of Fine Arts. This is perfect for me and my broken English because sometimes my English leaves the chat. If you've been around this channel, you know what I'm talking about. But at this point, I believe Siri in, I think, iPhone 78 or something, with the amount of advancement and AI is being added to this new iPhone, by 20-something, iPhone 78 is going to have... Siri will come outside the phone and you can do shakalaka boom boom. Not, not now, Siri. Siri, prepare yourself for a shakalaka boom boom. She's speechless because she's so excited. I will see you at iPhone 78. But another feature iPhone added was the fact that you can literally go to a restaurant and just scan them and all the Google reviews and all the menus, everything will just pop in front of it, which is perfect for lazy people. Visual intelligence is just a click away with iPhone 16's new camera control that Cayenne introduced earlier. Let me show you. Suppose you're out for a stroll and you stumble upon a restaurant you haven't been to before. Just click and hold the camera control and point your iPhone. With just a click, boom, your iPhone instantly pulls up restaurant hours, ratings, and quick options to check out the menu or make a reservation. And say you come across a flyer for an interesting event, just click and you can add it to your calendar. Details about the event title, time and date, and location are automatically entered for you. And then there's that cute little puppy you see at the park. What kind of dog is that? Click. And now you know. And the other feature I want to talk about is the the touch on the over here where you want to take a photo but you don't have the time to you know hold on the 3d touch the camera button on your phone for it to open up and then you have to go through the video and click if you see a flying giraffe for example if you want to catch it so your friends will believe you so you have evidence on your phone 
all you gotta do is press a fucking button over here and quickly press on it and it will capture whatever you want to capture. The camera control is easy to use. It's flush to the surface, covered by a sapphire crystal with a smooth texture and surrounded by a color matched stainless steel trim. The camera control elegantly blends hardware and software. When you click, it launches the camera. And once in the camera, you don't need to adjust your grip to take a photo. Just click again, so you don't miss the moment. With a click and hold, you can do a quick video recording. Now, these are only the new things that are added. The new touch button, the Apple intelligence. The camera obviously improves, the battery life improves. And I don't know if Apple took the memes to heart and they were really offended. So they decided to add more things to the new iPhone 16. I'm really happy they did because people with the money that they're about to spend, they'll be getting their money's value. There's many more cool AI shit added to the new iPhone as well, where you can customize your own emoji, very easily manageable emails, all your notifications, a lot of cool shit as well. You can go watch the one hour Apple events that Apple posted on their YouTube channel. And another feature they added to the new iPhone 16, which I think is absolutely amazing, is the noise cancellation. I feel like I'm promo. This is not a promotion, by the way. So let's say you want to send a video to someone or get on a call, but you do not have your headphones. It is a busy day and it is just so windy around you. You can just record and send your video and you and your iPhone 16 with the new AI, you're going to be so connected that everything else don't matter anymore. Before I answer the question to is the new iPhone 16 worth it worth buying or not? Let's talk about the new Apple Watch Series 10. Is it worth changing your Apple Watch to a 10 series? No point. It's the same shit. Literally just gives you more advanced data about your fitness. I'm at Apple Watch Series 6. I'm completely happy with it. Show me my calories. Show me the time. Show me the workout. I'm chilling. If you want to know what side the wind is coming from and every second data of your workout, then get the Apple. Or if you just want to show off and say, I have the latest one, all of you are poor bitches, then get the 10 series. It's completely fine. For the new AirPods, I think the coolest feature out of all of them is the active noise cancellation. For example, you, you're you listening to music, but instead of just going for pausing it, if you want to talk to someone, it automatically stops by itself. But in this case, you have to pay a little bit more. I believe it's like from 100 20 130 dollars so 170 dollars you can have siri interactions for sensor transparency usb-c wireless charging this is another cool feature the battery life is up to 30 hours voice isolation case speaker which is another cool thing and the rest is just some basic stuff so is the new airpods for worth buying if you don't have airpods yes it is worth buying or if you're really impressed by the cool features of the noise cancellation then i say go for it now, the question lies, is iPhone 16 worth buying? I'm going to say this is not a promotion. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but yes, iPhone 16 with the new features, it is full lazy mode. If you have an iPhone 15, I'd say do not go for it. But if you have the money, if you're diarying money, then 100% go for it. But if you're like iPhone 13, 14, I'm still at iPhone 12 Pro. Am I going to get it? Probably not. It's not because I don't want to. I'm just broke. But if you have the money, if you have the funds, 100%, I'd say go for it. The 16 is very good. They actually stepped it up this year and I'm very impressed by it. So definitely go for it. If you have the funds, buy it and rub it in people's faces, 100%. I'm not a tech channel, by the way. If you're new here watching me for the first time, we just talk about the random shit that's going on around the internet, the trendy part. And I just thought that you know last year since i covered iphone 15 i'll go for the iphone 16 as well that was my humble professional technology answer is the new iphone 16 worth it or not let me know your thoughts in the comments below let me know if you're gonna buy it or not let me know what iphone you have at the time being if you have samsung don't worry come come give, give me a hug give me a hug you can keep telling yourself samsung is better than iphone don't worry you can keep telling yourself that but anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments <laughs> below. Like and subscribe to the video. You know what to do. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.